Hello, so this is part of uh, project two, uh, the end of project two really, where we're going to take our table tent, final retouched uh, dessert table tent and strip it in in design. But there's a couple of things that we need to do first, uh, and one of those is to determine uh, the size that that has to be. So this is what the table tent looks like, and basically we are looking at uh, four and a half inches this direction, six inches this direction, and then the same on the other side. And I think this is three at the bottom, right? So if we think about that in terms of how big our InDesign file has to be, we can say here is the face of our table tent and uh, here's the headline, cool and light. And so here's our dessert, our strawberries, and parfait, and our copy. So this is heads up this direction. So what I need to do is strip it like that. Get down here so we can see what's going on. So that when I fold it, they'll both be facing up. Then at the bottom, also, I'm going to need, or at one side, bottom, I'm going to need another uh, three inches for the flap, and then an inch on the other side for the glue, glue flap. So it will glue to this side and complete our triangle. So we're talking about one inch here, six six and three so 12 13 14 15 16 inches from here to here our document needs to be 16 inches and still 4.5 this direction on top of that we're going to need this is going to bleed this side so we're going to need this quarter inch of bleed that direction and where we fold it dotted line means fold fold where we fold it we don't want a piece of white to hang out of the bottom either, so we're going to continue that quarter inch bleed at the bottom of the image, and the white will start here. So this will all be bleed image all the way around this, even on the glue flap, we'll have a little bleed. Okay? So we need to remember 16 by four and a, uh, four and a half inches, and then now we need to uh, prep our, our image. So this is my final layered Photoshop file with everything in it and I've saved it as uh, p2 Brian Boskill uh, PSD so what I need to do now is to save one as a JPEG just the way it is so I can go up to file save I'm sorry file save as and then choose JPEG and save it as a flattened JPEG and that will be my FPO so leave the name the same it'll change the extension Okay, the next thing I need to do is I need to take off any of the type that I'm going to uh, recreate in InDesign. In this case, it's just going to be my body copy down here. Uh, because my text is behind the image here, I could do this in InDesign, but it would be a, a tough job. So the sacrifice is this is not going to be high resolution, but because there's a, t uh, a treatment on it and because it's behind my image, I'm going to leave it in the Photoshop file itself. So. Just turn off that layer, and then I'm going to also flatten everything, and I'm going to save it, or I'm going to convert it to CMYK. Right now it's an RGB, so I can uh, do that all in one step by going Mode, CMYK, um, Rasterize, because it's saying I have some type in here that's going to rasterize. I'll rasterize it. I will merge it so it doesn't leave any layers and then this is the uh, the new ICC profile that's going to go into US web code quote <laughs> US web coded swap v2 and that's okay and so it flattens my image out I'm now in CMYK I can tell right here and then I would go ahead and um, save as and, and save it as a TIFF so save as and a TIFF. 
All right, that's going to change the file name there again. So again, I don't want to change the beginning. So I know where all these things came from. And I would say save. In this case, I'm going to say cancel because I do not want to do that. I already have those saved. Anyway, so let's go to the desktop and see what's going on out here. This is my empty job uh, project folder. And here's all the pieces that I've accumulated so far. So right now you should have already started putting the stuff in your empty job folder. But I'm going to show you where it would go had you not started already. So here's the two original images, the donor foot and the parfait image uh, that you were provided. So I'm going to put those in the originals folder right here. These are my sketches that I scanned in, my, my eight sketches that I scanned in. Um, it may take one or two scans to get them in. Uh, they are uh, scanned in at 200 dpi at full size. And then I'm going to put those in sketches. So there they go in sketches. Now I have my three comps that are saved as JPEGs. And they are named P1 for pro uh, P2 for Project 2, Comp A, and then my name or comp B, or comp C, and then my name. Now of these three comps, I chose to move forward with this one. And that, and so I stopped changing this file and made a new file called P2, just Brian Boskill. So this is my working Photoshop file for the final. These are my comps, so I'm gonna drop them. They're all JPEGs, 300 DPI, at size uh, JPEGs, and I'm gonna put those in the folder called comps. All right, so these things all go in a little bit different place. My working, my working Photoshop file goes in workers. So I'm going to drag that into workers under high res. And that's where it ended up. This TIFF and JPEG, I'm going to strip into my InDesign file. I'm also going to strip in my QR code. So all of these things, even though I'm only going to use this uh, JPEG file for position only, all of these things are going to go in the high res folder so I can find them. Okay, now we're ready to start in design and set up our job. Okay, so we're going to go new. Oh. We are going to go file, new document, not book. File new document. And we have to deal with all this stuff again. So remember what our size was back when? Was it like uh, 15? Let's see, 6 and 6, 12, 16. So our width, if we're going to strip it sideways, and we're not going to, we're going to strip it straight up and down, and I'll show you why. Um, so our width is going to be 4.5 inches. We we'll let tab and let them do the math uh, by 16 inches, tab, I'm going to not need any uh, margin, so I'm going to set that to zero. I want my quarter inch of bleed, so 0.25 inches of bleed, and I'm going to lock this and put an inch around for marks. So one inch tab, and that should look like this. So here's our 16 by four and a half document a quarter inch for the bleed, and then an inch away uh, from the trim line is our slug area. Another thing I need to do here is start putting down some guidelines so I know where everything is going to go. So at the top, I'm going to let, put that glue flap. So I'm going to pull this down right here, and I'm just going to go over, well, first I need to change this. This needs to be in inches. So uh, right click in that corner, or control click and you'll get this little pull out dialog box and then just change that to inches. Now with this active, and it's active when it's that color, I can type in whatever number I want there and that's how far off the top that line will come. So now I just moved it to one inch. My next one is going to be at six inches plus my one inch, so seven inches. That's going to be the top of the tent. The next one needs to be at 13 that's the bottom of the next card, and this is my three inch glue flap. I'm also going to put a couple more marks in here to show the bleed at the bottom of both of the sides of the tent where it goes into white. So that one 
is going to be at 0.75 inches and this one is going to be at 13 and a quarter. All right, so there's all my marks. Next thing I need to do is I'm going to put my fold marks in now while I can still see what I'm doing. And so I'm going to zoom. I'm holding Command and Shift and making a selection here so we can see right up here. This is my fold line. This is image will go into this line. So right now I want to get a line. We'll call it, oh, first I need the line tool, which is over here. It looks like a line of all things. Um, and then I want to change that to, what's going on? This would be this. I need to be on a layer, which I am. Back to stroke. Maybe I need some color in there somehow. All right, what's going on? All right, for some reason that worked. <laughs> You gotta be patient. Not everything works all the time. I'm gonna leave it at a point and I'm gonna choose a dotted line or a dashed line because that means fold. And I'm gonna drag it from the one inch outside across the whole document over to here and I'm gonna let go. And what I should end up with is a black dotted line across there, okay? Then I wanna just move this down to the next uh, place instead of can I can continue to drag lines across and that would be fine But it's just e easier for me to go ahead and drag it from there. So if I option Hold down the option key click and drag. Oh That grabbed my guide instead that was bad So I need to lock my guides on this layer layer Double click here say lock guides Otherwise, you're just going to grab them and move them around now I should be able to option click that guy. See the double arrow? I'm holding down the shift key so it doesn't run sideways on me. And I'm gonna drop it right on that line. And I'm gonna move down and I have one more fold to go. So option, drag, holding the shift key down. And that goes right there at 13, okay? So if I look, um, at what's going on. There's my dotted line. It runs all the way out here in the bleeds. I, have, I hit window to see that what it would look like trimmed. Those are the three places it's going to fold. Okay. So now I'm going to get my um, my FPO. My, my JPEG FPO. So under file, place, or command D, I'll go to my desktop because that's where my stuff is. My empty project folder which is going to needs to be renamed to P2 in my name. Um, inside the high res folder, I will find my JPEG. And I will put it right there. Now, if we look closer, we can see that there is um, something going on. It's going beyond the bleed down here. It's because we have a quarter inch bleed built in all the way around this. So really, I want it to sit there. And the top is going to get cut off or butt up to the the other um, the other one. So right now, this is my FPO. I would go ahead and set my type over the type that's here. And I'm going to view that in high res so I can see it better. So uh, my type, I will go and get in the next movie. So stay tuned for part two.